Yosemite is here and with it comes a bunch of new features. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything to help you get started. The first thing you're going to notice is the new interface, which is a little bit more flat, has a lot of transparency in the menus. Uh, the full screen mode now works a little bit differently. It's a toggle on the left side as opposed to the right. A big new feature here though is Spotlight. You can still search for applications and files here just like you always could, but now you can also search for, say, movie show times. Or content in the iTunes store. Or really, anything you want online. iCloud Drive also gets a nice little overhaul. You can now access files just like you would at something like Dropbox and normal folders and all that kind of stuff. So gone is the invisible iCloud folder structure of before, which is nice. Notification Center also gets a nice little overhaul. You get widgets in there so you can kind of edit how the content works. You just click the edit button and move stuff around if you want it in there. You'll find a lot of third-party widgets in the App Store showing up shortly, I'm sure. You can find those under extensions in the Systems Preferences panel and you can customize everything over there, however you see fit. Mail also gets a cool new feature in Markup, which allows you to edit photos in your emails before you send them. All you have to do is drag a folder over to your email, click the drop-down menu, and select Markup. Here you can edit files however you see fit. You can add little squiggly lines, text, or even sign documents if you're using a PDF. Handoff is the big new talking point here. You can now send content between your iOS device and your Mac pretty easily. You can do this in applications like Safari and a, pretty much any Apple application. You can also answer phone calls on your Mac now. Likewise, AirDrop works a little bit better than it used to. You can now transfer files between your Mac and your iOS device by just clicking the AirDrop, loading that up on both devices and then dragging over any files you want to send over to your phone or iPad. Finally, Safari gets a new look. It's a little bit simpler than it used to be. You also get a bookmarks sidebar instead of the bookmarks bar on the top. And private browsing mode works a little bit differently than it used to. You can now have two windows open at once, which is handy. Of course, there's plenty of other little features in Yosemite, so head over to lifehacker.com for a bunch more.